one. So to start off, I'm just going to prime my eyelids and I'm just using concealer. I love to use concealer because it hides all of my discoloration. And then I'm going to set that concealer with any face powder. And then the first shade we're going to go into is Golden Ochre. And it's a very beautiful transition shade. And I'm applying that on all over my crease, really, really close to my brow bone area. And I'm just going back and forth with this shade and really building it up. You don't have to worry too much about being neat with these shades because we will go in later and clean it up. So you don't have to worry about that right now. I'm then going in with the shade Burnt Orange and I'm doing the exact same thing I did with the first shade. You just really want to build up the intensity of these shades so that's why you want to go from light to darkest if that makes sense i'm just doing the exact same thing going back and forth and building it up and making sure that i flick my eyeshadow towards my brow tail if that makes sense like kind of flick it up as if you were doing a winged liner you want to do that with your eyeshadow and then i'm going in with the shade real gar I don't know how to pronounce it but it's this beautiful dark rustic orange shade and I'm doing the exact same thing that I did with the other shades. Um, you don't want to go too far up with this one because you don't want to cover up the first two shades that we applied and again flicking it, at, flicking it at the end of the tail of the shadow and then I'm going in with red ochre. And I'm going in with a more precise brush. Um, this is from BH Cosmetics. I will be doing a video on my favorite eyeshadow brushes soon, so stay tuned. And this one, I'm not going to go too, too far up. I'm just creating basically a new crease, if that makes sense. And just really building it up. And then going back with a blending brush and blending all the edges out. And then I'm going in with the shade Love Letter. It is a beautiful maroon fuchsia pink. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm doing the exact same thing with the exact same brush. This is a very tedious process. You just want to go back and forth with all your eyeshadows and build up the intensity and really make sure to diffuse all of the edges. And you also want to make sure with all your eyeshadows that you're bringing it towards your the bridge of your nose. It's just going to help with the carving out of our cut crease later on and it's gonna look really appealing as opposed to just kind of stopping it in the center of your eyelid if that makes sense and then I'm going in with cypress umber and this really really tiny precise brush from real techniques this really helps carve out your cut crease or at least start to carve it out and you really want to put this shade above your natural crease so this color is just really going to work as a shadow to make it appear as if our crease or yeah our crease is a little bit higher up so the way to find your new crease is just just to look forward and right where you see your eye fold you want to go just a little bit above that i hope that makes sense and then i'm grabbing the same brown shade on this on on this bh cosmetics brush and basically uh, blending it out a little bit the brown shade then you want to go in with concealer my favorite way of carving out my cut crease is with concealer it is just super super easy and I'm starting out on the outer part of my eye you basically can start wherever you want in the middle and then corner I just prefer to start out on the outer corner because it's easier to figure out where my line can go from there and you really want to just clean up your eyelid basically um, so any shadow that went below your new crease you just clean it up with concealer this is my favorite way a lot of people just go really really precise with their eyeshadow but I'm kind of messy so that's why I love to use concealer to help it to help clean it up and you can also tug on your eye a little bit it also helps and then I'm going in with this shade Tem tempera I think it was and I'm basically applying this all over my lid on top of the concealer to set it so I won't crease. And this is also a beautiful shade. It is 
it looks like a matte white but actually is has a little bit of shine to it and it's super pretty and then I'm going with them I don't know what shade that was I'm sorry but you guys can see and I'm going to use that as my brow bone highlight and my inner corner highlight this shadow is stunning I love it then I'm going in with um, eyeliner you can of course wear this look without eyeliner or with eyeliner I'm using the Maybelline jet black liner with an with a Tarte eyeliner brush. Oh my god, excuse my nails, they are ratchet as fuck, but it's okay. And then I'm gonna go over it with NYC Liquid Liner, favorite eyeliner ever. And then these lashes from Vegas May. I don't remember the exact name of them or number, so I will link that down below. And then the light brown shade that we used earlier in our crease the very first transition shade and then I'm going in with the burnt orange and then going in with love letter under my lash line really diffusing it out and then applying mascara and black eyeliner and that is basically it you guys I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next one bye